The first months after a diagnosis with MS are different for everyone. We each must find our own path through it. I don't think at first that I took the diagnosis serious enough, and I thought this is gonna be fine, I'm gonna continue living life. I started focusing on taking care of myself physically and mentally. I'm gonna have this, so I just had to realize how to live my life with MS, not allow MS to live my life for me. Now that you know that you have MS, one of the decisions you will have to make is who to tell. How and when to tell others is up to you. Some people with MS choose to share their diagnosis with people who are very close. Others tell a wider circle. Remember that once you tell people about your diagnosis, you cannot take that information back. A time or two I've disclosed in a new relationship a bit too soon. Now I don't disclose immediately. I'll wait to see if it's a viable relationship. Everybody has their own level of tolerance for how much they want to reveal or talk about their diagnosis. I try to help people to look at and honor their own level of tolerability for um, outing themselves with others. It took me several years even for me to, uh, to admit to my family that I have this. For me, I walk with a cane, so my MS is kind of out there. It's something that people feel the need to ask me about because I'm young and I don't look like I would have a cane. I always get like, I, did I hurt myself skateboarding or snowboarding? And I'm like, I, would, I wish that was the case. They think it's something that I can heal from that will go away. The first stage for me was stopping working. My husband went back to work and we reorganized our life. And then I've been able to really build more of a relationship with my husband than I ever had, and my son, most definitely. And then I have a, a mom who's aging, and I've been able to spend more time with her. So all of those things make me feel more in control of a situation that I didn't feel in control of to begin with. You've gone from thinking you know exactly who you are and what your life path is and how everything is going to be, and suddenly the doctors handed you a diagnosis that kind of changes all of that. And in order to begin to take steps to figure out how you're going to lead your life with MS, there's a certain amount of grieving that is involved in giving up the old picture you had of exactly who you were and what your life was gonna be like as you try to fit in this new information about yourself. And that grieving process is normal, it's healthy, it's a, sort of a necessary step to moving to the next place in your life. My MS has changed everything. Um, I thought for the worse for a long time, but I enjoy the changes MS has brought in my life. It's brought me closer to my family. You have MS and you're learning to live with what that means. There will be many new fears and emotions and possibly changes in how you perceive yourself. However, people living with multiple sclerosis all over the world are living full lives. The first days are hard, but I got through it. Just take things at your own pace. <laughs>